What's up, everybody? Back at it for part three. Gonna do the Forest of Illusion. Finish this up at some point. <laughs> Oops, I completely forgot to do something. Second, guys. Okay. Ah, uh, yes. Okay. That's... Oh, it's been nice knowing you, Yosh. You are a good friend and a great ally. You know? Sometimes we need to make sacrifices, and I appreciate your sacrifice. Silly, like I feel like I need that. I'll to uh to to overzealous on that. if I can find really anything. Oh, thanks, Tom, for sharing that stream. Really appreciate it. Alright, somebody... Somebody remind me where the hell the uh, thing is that I'm looking for. That's not it. Oh, on that lunch break, yeah, there you go. Nice. I uh, I had half a day today. Well, I guess I had a, I took a whole day off work today because I had uh, orientation. So, but we ended orientation early, so I uh, decided to come on and play some games. Jealous, yeah. I mean, it's always it's always nice to take a day off. I haven't actually taken a day off in a, a long time. <laughs> Come on, give me that cloud. Oh man. Ugh. What you got for lunch today? That's not fair. I mean, it is fair. Stupid hitboxes. Oh, nice! You got a nice little getaway coming up soon, then. That's cool. Oh, 
gotta remember how this thing works, man. Gotta get to that secret fortress. Dang, I got distracted when I saw plantains. <laughs> Leftovers from the Dominican restaurant. Oh, that's awesome! How is that? Is it? Is that the one that's like, um... It's fairly old. Like, it's been around for a while, I think, right? It's, uh... I can't remember what it's called. It's like La Dominica or something like that. Does that sound right? Really good. I haven't been there in a long time, but I'm glad. I'm glad it's still, uh. Ooh. Glad it's still kicking. There's a, uh, Caribbean restaurant that opened up on Delaware Ave. I don't know if you've uh, had the chance to go there yet, uh, but I've heard a lot of really good things about it. I think that is what it's called, Natties. Yeah, yeah. Sound right? That's. I think that's right. Roundabout way of trying to see if there's anything in this pipe here. Yeah, there we go. Okay, now we're cooking. One more second. Nice, that's really good to hear. I, uh, I've been meaning to go over there at some point. I just haven't. Really should, though. What, um, what kind of stuff have you got in there? And the, uh, the background of this game is really just, uh, giving me some weird motion feeling. Alright, there we go. We made it to the end. Oh, nice. How's their jerk chicken? Was it super spicy? Or do they have it as super spicy? Die. 
You get extra spicy. Oh, nice. That's cool. I'll, I'll have to definitely check it out at some point. Um, I went to this uh, Mexican restaurant not too long ago, Toro. Oh my gosh, it was amazing. The plantains were just phenomenal. I know they had plantains, it was, it was really good. It's definitely, definitely worth a visit. Uh, and the place right next to it, uh, Mosu, which is a Korean barbecue joint. Oh my god, so good. Absolutely so good. I beat you at your own game. Okay, let's try this now. Okay. I would really like a uh, halfway point. Jeez, okay. Take a mushroom. Mushroom sounds good. I've actually been to the ramen, uh, the ramen place yet. Hey Dennis, thanks so much for following the stream, really appreciate it! And thank you for the like too! Oh, we just wait. Nice. All right. So, got that open now. Now we can carry on with the rest of the Forest of Illusion. By carry on, I mean let's get out and Get Roy done. Yeah, I'd gotta try. So good, the only place in order to see they can spot. Oh, really? Okay, I'll have to check that out. Uh, hey, Dennis. Uh, no, actually, we're we're up in uh, New York. Just talking about all the sweet. Sweet spots to go eat that good, good food, you know? I've been craving uh, barbecue a lot lately. I've been really wanting some, some good barbecue. Some, like, oh, some nice smoky ribs. Yeah, that's what I could go for. Oh, man, I'm getting distracted by all my ribs talk. <laughs> uh, no, actually, upstate, uh, so near, um, in Albany, in the capital, yep. But not too far from NYC. Only uh, a couple hours drive. Alright. Yes, I remember. Remember. I don't turn around right now. Are 
Are you an Ohio native, Dennis? See, the board's harder than the actual boss. Adrian, thanks so much for liking the stream, man. Really appreciate it. Okay, Springfield. Yeah, I'm not too familiar with Springfield. I've been to, uh... Where is it? I have some family in Akron. Um, well, not technically Akron, but, like, right outside. Um, I don't know where that is in relation to Springfield. I feel like they must have some good uh, barbecue out in Ohio, right? I feel like the the more the more you start moving west, the uh, the better the barbecue gets. Okay, cool. Near Dayton. What? I feel like I got robbed on that one. It's okay. Can't win them all. Where am I jumping? It's not fair. There we go. I am, I gotta be honest with you, I grew up as a, uh, a Buffalo Bills fan, so... I, uh, oops, oops, oh, <laughs> R.I.P. Yoshi, I'm sorry, but thank you for your sacrifice, I really appreciate it. <laughs> of all your favorite Mario iterations, what's my favorite? Dr. Mario, Super Mario 3. Super Mario 3 is great, I mean, you can't argue with that. Um... I really like this one a lot, too. I think I probably played this one the most growing up. Um, but I think I have... I think... I think I might actually have to give it to Super Mario 64. Because there is just something about, you know, that, that magic of switching from a 2D to 3D format that just absolutely blew my mind as a child. And it was just such a good game. I should play that at some point, too. Now, um, Buffalo, I mean, Buffalo... The closest baseball team to Buffalo is... I guess probably Toronto? That would be my guess? Tom, thanks for liking the stream, man. I updated my my gifs here, so everybody's got new new uh, new styles here. All right, time to fail miserably at this. No, I can do this. And I guess after Toronto, it would probably be Cleveland, I'm thinking. Ah, uh, no, I, I guess I don't know how far Cleveland is from, from Buffalo. And it's probably more than four, four hours. It takes, what, four or five hours to get from uh, Buffalo to New York City, so... Oh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, Buffalo does have about 90 inches of snow. They get all that that Great Lake uh, that Great Lake weather there. It's uh, it's always tough. Thankfully, where I am, we don't get too too much snow. We get like just enough, I feel like, to make it pleasant. Um, but it's not it's not treacherous blizzard conditions like some of my friends who live out west.
Yeah, I was trying to figure that out. It was like f about four, four and a half from from Buffalo to Albany. So I was thinking from Buffalo to New York City, you're probably looking at like like six and a half, maybe. So I guess if it's uh, less than six hours from Buffalo to New York City than it is from Buffalo to Cleveland, then I guess Cleveland would probably be the next closest baseball team. <laughs> Hey, Trey, good to see you, man. I'm doing good. How's, how's your day going? I don't know why, but every time I have the keep and the Yoshi, my instinct is just... Run and fly as quickly as possible. <laughs> Come here. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Whoops, you're a green Yoshi. Dang. Alright, well, yes. Oh, there we go. Perfect, thank you. Um, yeah, I think I'm probably going to. I'm gonna try to do it uh, at, at some point. I've been slowly doing it, um, but I haven't been do uh, haven't been getting them all in order. Um, just kind of playing through and and seeing seeing where the wind takes me, basically. <laughs> it's, uh... As, as some of my friends here in chat could tell you before you came in, I was having some trouble with, um... With the one exit uh, in the Forest of Illusion where you... Uh, it was the one right after the Ghost House. Where you have, like, the Locky 2, and you have to find the pipe to, to go down. I did that, like, four times. <laughs> Good. That must mean there's probably something safe for me to land on. Whoa. I was today years old. Oh no! Thank you for your sacrifice! Oh no! I'm going down with you! I was just absolutely blown away by the fact, uh... By the fact that you can eat those guys, apparently. Three hours from Cleveland to Buffalo. Earthquake hit Buffalo and Cleve. Wait, when was that? That that happened? Oops. Alright, I'll come back to this one. Oh man, I'm really uh, tempting fate on that one. Boy. What's that? That's right, I forgot. Oops. 
gotta go back and get those other uh, piece switches at some point. get this uh, circle out of the way here. Oh! I did not realize that I could go over that. Yikes. Oh, there goes my uh, full strat. Give me a Yoshi. Nope. I'll take a feather. I always found it very terrifying that after you beat the uh, special world, all the turtles turn into... Sh all their shells turn into Mario faces. <laughs> it's really terrifying. Hey Steve, how's it going, man? How's your day? Yes, exactly! Mario has seen the enemy and it is himself. It's terrifying. New York City not sleeping in the Yeah, it's uh <laughs> it's always uh it's always hopping in the city, absolutely. I used to work down there and you really have to You pretty much have to sleep with earbugs if you want to get anything done. <laughs> hey dude, pretty good. Good, glad to hear it, man. I should go back through... Before I go into Bowser's world, I'm going to, uh... I'm gonna go through and start picking off those stages that I haven't done yet. Well, alright. Big apples. <laughs> yeah, big apples. That's right, exactly. I never really understood why it was called the Big Apple, though. Why is this coop? Why isn't it Bowser? Isn't it Yoshi? Yeah, it's Yoshi. Yoshi is uh, important enough to have his own currency in this game, so I guess it's because this is the first. Oh, that was sneaky. Um, this is his first. Uh, well, I guess not his first, but his real first like appearance in one of the side-scrolling games. It feels weird carrying around my head. Just, just want to uh, state that it doesn't feel good. It began in the 1920s when sports journalist John Fitzgerald. Ah, okay, neat. Big Apple. Ah, okay. Interesting. Yeah, New York Mets. Um, my my family are very very intense Mets fans. Uh, still haven't actually made it down to see a game though yet at their new stadium. Well, I mean it's not new anymore. 
but <laughs> but it, it was too. <laughs> Gotta take off your own head. <laughs> yeah, apparently I, I can take anybody's head that I want. I, I'm Mario, the thief of Koopa shells. I don't know. It's very weird. Spiky pillars, man. On here. Giant spark boy. Oh! Let's keep it going. Let's go. Do you know Boo was modeled after a programmer's wife and her it's Teresa? I didn't know that. Teresa... Teresa... Boo? Ter oh wait, isn't there a... Isn't there maybe in like one of the Paper Mario's or something like that? One of them, one of the boos is named Teresa. I feel like that that sounds familiar to me. Also, speaking of Paper Mario, I just got um, Thousand Year Door uh, emu um, ROM set up last night. I'm so excited to play that at some point, too. Alright, let's, uh, let's double back here and fill in some of these gaps. Before we go to the ghost ship. Tuss. Alright, so that one's done. Alright, help me remember where the the special the special thing is in here. It's idle. Life of me. Oh wait, is this the level that's um that randomly generates the like the next set of the level? I think it is. Oh perfect, and I actually think this is the one I do want. Listen, I know you're really excited. I know you're confused about the game you're playing. You're throwing baseballs, but you got football helmets on. I don't know if it's like some weird highlight thing or what's what's happening. But, uh... There we go. Got that. Got that. Spit it out, bud. All right. I don't even remember where this takes you. Oh, okay. Chocolate secret. No, <laughs> double no, get back here. <laughs> I 
definitely do not remember these stages as well as I thought I did. God, I, f I feel like at any moment I'm just gonna like hit lava. Good. I mean, it's real. Whew. What else we got here? Yoshi, wear, <laughs> Yoshi wears better work boots than the plumber. Yeah, I mean, I guess that's that's fair. Or maybe uh, maybe Mario's boots are just worn out because of all the Goomba stomping that he does. Uh, he just hasn't upgraded in five games, let's say. You know, Yoshi's got them fresh Jordans on. Let's do... Okay, there's the bridge here. And... This one and all that. Yoshi looks like he's got Doc Martens on, which, I mean, I guess would make sense why... You can basically just do it. strat right there. Do I do this? Is that how I get the secret end? Got an endless stomach. Alright, let's see. Does that give me the secret? No, it doesn't. Dang. Alright, alright. There is. steel toe boots on. Yoshi living like a star, his face on your money, and his boots on your sa sar sar sar. Try, I'm trying. Sore. Yeah, they really, uh, they really don't oh, crap. They really doubled down on the Yoshi love in this one. The sores. That's right. Yeah, we gotta use that uh, that Western New York accent. Thank you. 
This is where I have to say goodbye to my friend, though, huh? Alright, Yosh, well, I appreciate mostly everything that... Alright, so... There's no way, right? Okay. Okay, I remember how this works now. Sorry, bud. Your sacrifice is most needed. Oh, yeah. Living like a star. His boots on, you saw. This is, again, one of those times where this is the only time in the entire game where this enemy actually appears. Secret level. Also, these guys are annoying. Drives me crazy. It's like you waited. I I Is that Mickey Mouse? Yo, do you think Mario, Mario's arch nemesis, is actually Mickey Mouse? Look at the, look at that. That's definitely a Mickey Mouse hand. I feel like we're about to uncover some sort of wild thing. Definitely. Mickey Mouse is really, really all about murdering Mario with giant torpedoes. That's a narrative that Disney's gonna have a hard time con All right, here we go. Oh, I missed it. That's okay. Could you imagine if all of a sudden Disney was just like, mm, we're gonna do the Amazon thing and gonna create our own, like, video game company, and then they just buy out every video game company. Absolutely wild. Nintendo is the the last bastion of hope for, for people before it gets completely taken over by Disney. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think a couple things here that I need. Oh no, I goofed it. Close enough. Good enough for government. I think this area is just a normal exit. Goodbye, my friend. I wonder if, like, if at, if you could just see, like, at the bottom of your screen, like, if, if the camera just kept going, and it was just, like, a, a giant, like, pit of all the Yoshis that I've abandoned in this game. <laughs> They're all just hanging out, waiting. Just waiting to be used again. I mean, that's fair. Dinosaurs became extinct because they're really... Yeah, exactly. I mean... I wonder how long it took before Anne was like, you know what? We can use these guys. Plus, apparently, and this is something that I'm just learning now, is that height is something that's very important to, to people. 
lie about their height. How do I get... It's also kind of rude, I think, that Mario doesn't let Yoshi into the ghost houses. Or the castles, for that matter. Like, yeah, I get it, you're an animal, but, like, you can go in, un in the underground levels. So, like, who are you trying to, like, respectful of? to get prehistoric cookies off shelves so they stomped on a dinosaur's head to get a boost. Yeah, I'm, I'm on board with that narrative. That sounds good to me. Come on, you know better than anyone, right? Yoshi's not scared of anything. He's like the first to be abandoned. The first line of just... He's like the infantry, man. You just send him in and he does his thing. <sighs> man, I am never gonna ever get a perfect score on this. It's okay. Aha! Donut secret to you. Eat, I guess. Oh. Sorry, bud. She's the opposite of tails that are like anti matter and matter. One is functionally <laughs> one is functionally immortal. Yeah, I mean that's fair. Oh. Sorry, bud, I thought I was leaving you to die. <laughs> I was a little I was a little quick on the, the Yoshi abandonment trigger right there. <laughs> I'm not sure who's, who I think is more useful, though, Tails or Yoshi. I guess Yoshi is the more versatile, right? It can spit, spit fireballs, can eat monsters, can stomp, it can do all kinds of stuff. Tails just kind of flies, right? Like, he doesn't do anything else. I don't... Is that right? Pretty sure he doesn't do anything else. My friend. Lying is useful in 2D stages. Yeah, that's true. It's very, very useful. Are you saying that in uh, the 3D, the 3D Sonics, his uh, giant Iron Man suit for himself? Did he really? Oops. That's a wild take. Tails is the, the, the Tony Stark of the 3D Sonic games. <laughs> was he was he like that in Sonic Adventure? I don't remember that. I don't want that. No, go away. Oh 
all minus the cool. Yeah. Uh, okay, I don't remember exactly how this works. Is there a thing? I feel like I did this way already. Sonic Adventure 2 had a giant suit like Eggman. Really? I... Oh man, I really gotta go back and play those games because I do not remember them. out. I always thought it was really lame that the red exclamation point blocks didn't give you fire flowers. Yeah, the knuckles wrap was really good. It's a, that's, a, that's a classic that will be forever in our hearts. Just like that, I have another Yoshi. <laughs> another another piece of fodder <laughs> to abandon at the, the slightest sign of trouble. <laughs> Poor Yoshi. <laughs> I don't remember this. Oh wait, I think I so this is like a weird It's like a weird thing about this level. I mean, that's fair. That is true. He is definitely not a snitch. And I guess Yoshi really does, uh... I mean, not that he doesn't in this game, but he really solidifies his, his worth, uh, in, uh, what's it called? Uh, next Super Mario World. Um, the one where he's- where Mario's a baby. Yoshi's Island. Mario, yeah, Super Mario World 2, Yoshi's Island. I never quite understood why that was the second one, but whatever. God, could you imagine, from Yoshi's perspective, just like... carrying a crying baby across an entire world? Just so he can, I guess, throw it. Throw rocks at Bowser or something? I don't really. I don't actually remember. Jeez. I don't actually know what the story, the, the plot of Yoshi's Island is or whatever. I feel like this would be a. Oh, Yoshi, why you do this to me, bud? Oh my goodness. That he leaves me and everything in the world falls apart. Only to be cons yeah, only to be constantly <laughs> abandoned by the, that baby when he becomes a man. That's right. It's uh it's kinda messed up. Definitely that definitely has some uh weird uh relationship dynamics. I'm going to miserably fail at this again. Here we go. Maybe Yoshi will give me that extra boost that I needed. Oh my 
my god! Holy crap! I've never done this before! Wait, I'm gonna go all the way over here so you can just... Yes! Come to me! Come to me! Yes! Yes! Holy crap! Never in my life have I actually done that. Wow. Alright. Look at that. I guess maybe Yoshi isn't so bad. It's like if the Ninja Turtles put Splinter in a home when he turns 60. <laughs> yeah, that's that's fair. <laughs> like, sorry, we're done. We're done with your your freaking weird plots to whatever what's his name Shredder to f his old rivalry. He was a student, right? No, wait. Shredder was Splinter's student. I always forget. Right? Is that the way it is? I'm gonna die from this guy. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure Shredder was Splinter's student. Father bring Yoshi. She's just gonna stand outside like a scaredy dinosaur. That's rude. <laughs> oh man, I was. Dang, I got distracted. Yeah, sometimes Splinter is just a rat who watched a dude do karate once and figured at it. <laughs> He's like, yeah, I'm good, I got this. Hey Trey, uh, no, I'm probably... I'll probably switch to something else. Um, I might finish this up, though, because I'm getting pretty close. Uh, I'm just going back now and, and finishing all the rest of the exits. Um, and then I'll probably go forward and beat Bowser, but... I'm definitely down to play some, some other stuff. Um, what do you want to see? I'm going to play some Yo-Noid on Saturday. Um, I, I got that scheduled on the book, so I thought that might be fun. See, have you played have you played Yonoid before? Do you remember that game? It's so confusing to me because it's like one of the only games I've ever played where like the the mini game at the end is actually the real game, and the side scrolling stages are just the collect stuff for the mini game. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna run it on uh, Saturday along with. Um, I'm gonna play Yonoid, uh, some Bubble Bobble. I got uh, asked if I would play a little Bubble Bobble and um, some Symphony of the Night. So that'll be fun too. Probably end the day with Symphony of the Night. My plan is to basically play Bubble Bobble until I get absolutely frustrated <laughs> with it and can't carry on. Uh, and then I'll play Yonoid and then I'll play uh, Symphony of the Night. Always a tough, I feel like, because this is. You have to really pace yourself. Oh, Kid Chameleon for Sega, right? That was a Genesis game? That game was tough. <laughs> I 
I've never actually played Kid Chameleon, but I watched a walkthrough of it, I guess semi-recently, because um, my wife wanted to show it to me, and um, that game is just all over the place. the different like uh like helmets and stuff or right you get like helmets and stuff in that game that's the that's the whole thing just like change into whatever form you get let's see I'm sure i can just i'm so glad that mario is a master of aerodynamics and can do this Perfect. Easiest stage in the game. Yeah, that's right, you could turn into like Jason and stuff. I forgot about that. Um it's in this one, I think, right? Yeah, the blue switch is in this level. turn into like silver surfer too or like some sort of weird like skateboarding kind of dude not oh wonder boy and the monster is that um is that the one that's kind of like little nemo you like can like turn into different you get like different monster abilities and stuff like that. I think you showed me that once. I feel like I remember really thinking it was really cool. I gotta get a um, a capture card for my Switch so that I can I can play Switch games on here because that would be really fun. I'd love to play some some like Switch games on here. Oh. You know what game I I, uh, I also got for GameCube the other day? Um, I don't know if you've ever played it, but Fantasy Star Online. Uh, the, it's the, the second one, not the first one. Yeah, me too. It was, it was a little rough to play though, um, just because I, th you know, we've kind of evolved in our game controls and how things are kind of meant to to like. You kind of expect this, like, you know, there's this formatted control scheme, right, for everything nowadays. So it's just a little, it's a little different. Um, but it was still really fun, but it was a little, a little clunky. Yeah, 
Yeah, a lot of timing-based attacks, absolutely. Um, and like the... Ooh, I completely forgot that this was the thing. Um, yeah, the, the targeting system was a little funky, um, but it was it was fun. It was a neat neat trip down memory lane. Played it for about 20 minutes, and I was like, okay, I gotta I gotta, I gotta stop. Sorry, well, not paying attention. We'll just go. Please just let this be it. Yeah. Just give me that mushroom. mushroom. That's rude. But I did it. Did it. Alright, here we go. Last world. Oh wait, did I that last... Fantasy Star Online, though, um, I just kind of forgot all of the the terms for things, so everything just sounded like it was, like, I don't know, like, weird and made up. <laughs> like, I mean, like, obviously it's it's weird and, and made up, but, like, it just, you know, like, the, the language was just so weird. Like, names of the spells and stuff like that. Do I remember Jet Force Gemini? I... I... I don't think I played it for GameCube. Was there a... I know I have the one for, uh, Nintendo 64. Right? It was on 64, too? That's the one with the dog. Lupus? Is that right? What's his name? I don't know if they made another one. I always thought that that would be a really, uh, a really obscure Smash Brothers character to bring into the game. Like, the Jet Force Gemini crew. Just all three of them. And you can just, like, switch between them, like, uh, like the Pokemon trainer. I guess, I guess Jeff Force Gemini really didn't have a, uh, I feel like it wasn't a very well-received game. I do remember liking it, though. I always wish they would just bring in some sort of, like, super obscure, like, Smash Brothers character. I mean, I guess they kind of did with some of the, but, like... Cult classic. Yeah, okay. That's good. Okay. I I really liked it, so I just don't remember. I just don't remember any of my friends talking about it. <laughs> so it's very possible that I'm just yeah, I'm just basing it off of that. Um but good. Yeah, it really was. Um it was forgotten to the I think another series I would like to see brought back would be, um, Turok. Dinosaur Hunter. That was such a good, a good game for the Nintendo 64. 
I never played the one for um, Xbox. this now. Wasn't it? Turok was such a good game. I think I, I have those. Oh! Oh. Um. Yeah, Turok was great. Um, try out of the... I think there's three. I only I only remember the first two pretty vividly. Um, but which one did you like the best? MDK for PS and DC was also some back feel. Um, MDK. What's MDK? Mind me? Yeah, I think the original one on 64 is probably my favorite. Um, although the second one was was actually pretty good. Uh, was it Turok 2? Uh, Se Seeds of Evil? Yeah. Guy in a black suit with a sniper. So it's like Hitman? Basically? sounds like you're describing Hitman. Sci-fi. And there's a lot happening here. There we go. He snipes aliens. Oh, okay, cool. Wait a minute. Uh, his pal was a dog with six arms. So, does that mean that altogether he had ten limbs? Because that sounds terrifying. It's like some, like, Shiva Mortal Kombat, like, Centaur type character. It's like, uh, actually, it's like if Kitaro from Mortal Kombat had a child with uh, Motaro from Mortal Kombat, you'd have that exact combination. Oh no, Goro. Sorry, Goro and Kitaro. Kitaro? Motaro. Motaro. And it's been a while. Goro and Motaro, I think. Yeah. Play the dog in the sequel and select a gun for each hand? That's crazy! It's here. Okay, there we go. What kind of guns did you get in that game? Were they all just like sniper rifles? Hey Dave, thanks so much for uh, following. I appreciate it. Hope you're doing well, man.
runs, I think. No. Guy in the black suit used automatics and sniper rifles. <laughs> the dog used Uzis, of course. Yep, yeah, sure, why not? I'm sorry, an atomic toaster? What did, what what pray tell is a atomic toaster? <laughs> Oof, made it through there. There we go. Oh my god, more? Calm down, calm down. It shoots atomic toast. Interesting. Was that, of course, the most powerful, um, the most powerful weapon in the game? Definitely not the right way. Okay, try this again. Let's go this way. what I needed. I can fly up, but I cannot fly up. Dang. So then I'm gonna try to frame key. Oh yeah, perfect, thank you. I will definitely check it out for sure. It's it definitely sounds uh like a very obscure game. I'm not gonna make it! No! Yes, good, good. I think... Miscounted six arms. So, oh, so he has six arms. Oh, wait, is this a, bi a bipedal dog? Like, they have... So we don't have to have, like, scary centaur running on the ground dog? Is it like, um... Like, the dog from Star Fox? <laughs> <laughs> like the commander or whatever his name is. Oh, okay. I did not do good on that. Huh. There must be a way to do this, right? like squeeze through here somehow. It's not gonna... Okay. I will have to do it. Fashion way. Is there another P-switch? Thank you. Oh, what? 
guess I have to hit first? Wait, I don't remember. Did I hit this first or no? So, I think I hit this. Huh. Maybe I just ran out of... Maybe I just ran out of juice. Maybe I just gotta do it fresh. That's annoying. just doesn't want to go the way I want it to. I think I'm just supposed to be able to control it on the D-pad. For some reason, it just does not want to do that. on the, f the good side I'm getting so, you know what all right guys I'm just gonna I'm, gonna, I'm a little cheeto sorry I'm just gonna cheat a little it's good because apparently oh boys go. Alright. I apologize for the, uh, the safe state there, but I really just didn't want to run back. <laughs> Alright, so let's, let's backtrack here a little bit. Let's go. Man, do I really have to go all back like this? It's such a pain. Uh, no, wait, I can't. Oh, I can't, never mind. What does MDK2 stand for? Just trying to think of, like, if I've ever heard of this before. Back in full upgraded regalia here. Let us. Let us away. Uh, was it this one? It's not. Spin this one. Right. 
right, let's... Let's go, Yosh! No, oh, I need you! Come back! Back, you beautiful dinosaur! That's so... so lame! That they have, like, random secret bats. Got through your wings, Yosh. Is that, is that even how you get the secret in this one? Hey Johnny, thanks so much for following. Really appreciate it. Thank you for following along. Welcome to the team here. I gotta come up with a uh, a name for my my team. Ah, awesome! Thank you again for the like, Johnny. I appreciate it. The follow and the like. Okay, so... Apparently, that is not... God. So... With that being said, I guess... I guess I have to figure out how... Not like that. I gotta do this. I feel like I can't take you into this. That's gonna be... Oh. What?! No, that was BS. It's fine. <clears throat> Alright, Yosh, sorry I abandoned you. <laughs> A bump of the head, yeah. Yeah, for sure. I definitely would have, like, 100% agreed that the first time I slid, the first part I slid through, probably shouldn't have made it through that. But I feel like the game was just like, nah man, getting too uh, loosey-goosey with this. Steve, where's the secret entrance in this, uh, this level? I don't remember. gotta be somewhere. Is it here? If I was a key and a keyhole, where would I be? Ceiling? Yeah, that makes sense. Like, it's... Something in one of these spots. I almost uh, bump of the head again. I don't know why I keep... Brain is not working. There we go. Go. It's here, right? It's here. Maybe it's like one of those weird, like, at the end of the goal kind of thing. So there's the, the yeah. Is there anything? Oof! Oof! That was uh. 
real lucky, a real lucky slide there. Maybe it's he, it's one of these kinds of things. Ah, look at that. Good old muscle memory. Alright, last fortress. God, I hate these spikes. Hated the spikes. It always kind of made me sad that Drybones hates Mario enough to literally throw parts of his body at him. Oh, that was faster than I thought. What? The double tap? Apparently there's no invincibility sprite. At least they're generous enough to give me a feather in the level. <laughs> not a practical place to live. Like, I get it. Like, this this incredibly dangerous path, like, keeps out all the bad guys, but, like, if I was just, like, you know, Bowser or whatever, and I just wanted to, like, go visit the guy, and I was, like, having to go through all of this rigmarole just to visit Rez Reznor, I'd be like, nah, dude, I'm out. I think they have like a secret bad guy backdoor. Is Mario's natural t state tiny or big? He started off tiny in the original game. Yeah, he did. I guess he. Huh. That's a really interesting point. Like, if he started going off of the fact that he started small in the original game. I guess that means that the original Mario is smaller, and he had some sort of, like, enhancements to become bigger. And now he lives in a constant state of bigness, I guess? Um, so maybe he's just... Mario's just become a very swole boy. You know? Alright, getting real close to Bowser's Castle here. The real question is, do I do I just take the front door, or do I go through the back door? Does it matter? I don't know if it matters for completion's sake. So if I can just go through the back door, that makes it much nicer. It's my buddy. Oops. Oh, 
I thought there might be there. Alright, well, short-lived. Short-lived, bud. Our friendship was bittersweet. Uh, if this was Bowser from Shanana, it would be a very, very different ending to the game, I'm sure. What? Ah, oh, Mario with your weird cape gliding. Dang. So many musical references. Yeah, keep them, keep them coming. You know me. I appreciate a good reference and a good pun. So if you can put them to put those two together, I'm uh, I'm always happy to indulge. Again, this is the only time in the entire. Oh, yeah, I know. I was just gonna talk crap about you. And of course, you have to go and do that to me. Um. This is the only time in the entire game where you actually have these weird shovel shovel football players. I guess are they like a maybe it's a soccer ball? No, it's what sport, guys? What sport are they playing? Because he's just literally digging up dirt. Nintendo did it intentionally. All kids are. After rock and roll. What? Is that true? Let me. I guess that's true. Yeah, I, I know what you meant. Um. <sighs> what? 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 Rocker? Oh, Yosh. Need you, Yosh. Dang. Yep, Iggy, Iggy Pop. That makes sense. Who's Wendy? Is there a famous Wendy? The only, like, famous Wendy I know is Wendy Williams. I don't think that counts as Rockstar. See if I can get. I think Yoshi was in this level, right? I think there was a Yoshi. Yeah, who's Wendy? Oh, yes, I'm going here. Oh, cool. Thanks for taking me all the way back to the beginning of the level. Yeah, Williams. She's the... Isn't she just a, a radio host? Alright, Yosh, I can't lose you. You have to stay with me this entire... ride. I'm sorry, what? She used to chainsaw guitars? Does that even... Does that even mean? Exactly. What does that mean to chainsaw a guitar? Oh, interesting. Went singer from... No! No, my friend! My beautiful boy! Oh my god, I really just... Just goofed that whole thing. Oh god. I can't go back for that either. I have to start this whole level over again. Dang. Does that mean I can't beat this until I... Alright, you know what? I'm gonna come back to you. Alright, I remember this. Let's go.
Alright, so we got Wendy, we got Iggy. How about... Uh, oops! What about Roy Boy? Where, what's, uh, what about... I guess, like, how, how, uh, liberal are they with the term rock and roller? Because, like, I, I don't know who Roy might be, but the only Roy I could think of is, like, Roy Orbison, and how, I don't know if I would, I don't know if I would call that a rock and roller. I guess, I guess maybe. Okay, so we got Roy, Iggy, Wendy, um, I don't even, Ludwig? Who's Ludwig? No, 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 that it. I was wondering if you were going to say that, but that doesn't make sense. He's not a rock and roll star. He's just a... a composer. Oh, this is terrible. I wish I hadn't killed him. Yeah. Good, keep going. Oh god, no. I'll just... Lemmy, Lemmy, Lemmy. Who's I don't even know who Morton Downey Jr. is. Oh my God, I'm gonna run out of time. Yikes. Checkpoint soon. No, oh, I'm gonna die. Checkpoints, we're just going right for it, huh? You know what? You didn't see anything. <laughs> Get off the ramp! Now! Thank you! Ah, it's a... That's probably why I've never heard of him. <laughs> Alright, who else are we missing? Roy... Roy Martin, Iggy, Lemmy... Martin Martin. Uh... Iggy, Lemmy, La Larry. Was there a Larry Cooper? <laughs> Larry Cooper. <laughs> Larry, Larry Koopa? Lenny? Is it Lenny and Lemmy? There's two L's, right? It's not Larry. <laughs> it's not Larry, though, right? <laughs> There's no Larry Cooper. Why can't I go to the left here? That's effing rude. Okay, fine, I guess I do have to play around. Hopefully the last... Oh wait, no, I beat that level, so I don't have to go up there, I know. And I still do have to go all the way around! Jeez! Larry. Okay. I wasn't... I wasn't just making up another Koopa. I was worried. I was like, uh... And the best part about it is that they ended up just abandoning them all for Baby Bowser. It's 
is Baby Bowser, inspired by, like, Baby Spice or something like that. I see. Makes sense. Let's go. Come on, Yoshi. Don't let me down. I just gotta get through this one level. This whole entire level without losing you, okay? That's all I'm asking of you. What should I play after this? I don't even know what game to play after this. I think it may be something like NES. I don't know what exactly. Alright. Battle Toads. Oh man, that would be <laughs> That's good. that'll be a good way to to end my day. Play some Battle Toads. I think I have See, I have Battle Toads, and I have Battle Toads. Uh, what's it? And Double Dragon. I think the And Double Dragon one is the second one in the series, right? I think so. Ooh, I could play Mega Man X. Mega Man X is good. All right. I don't. I'm going for the back door. I feel like that still counts for completion. If I have Mega Man X, let me let me try some Mega Man X. I have, I I do love that game. And then if that doesn't, I <laughs> I feel like I have to be in a very specific mood for Battle Toads. Um, Battletoads is an incredibly frustrating game. <laughs> I've never played any of the Zero series. Let's go! Third time's a charm. There we go. <clears throat> hey, Matthew, how's it going, man? Good to see ya. Yeah, I can do the Hadouken. I can, uh... I have to remind myself how to get it. I, uh... But I can definitely do it. It's in the Armored Armadillo stage. I think you have to have, what, full... full lives... full... uh... E... uh... energy tanks? Oh, just got out of work. Nice! Hopefully it was a... a good day. A good day at work. Come on, Bowser, let's go. It always just looks terrifying, the way that Princess Peach, like, comes out of the... the Thing and she's like waving her arms like she's like spaghetti noodles. It just, I don't know, the animation is just. 
just not my favorite. All the heart pieces, all armor, four sub tanks full, and it's in the end. It's in the armor stage at the end. Okay, yeah, you like climb up the. You have, don't you have to like die a bunch of times or something like that in order to get it? I f or is that just like some weird like urban legend? You have to have like max lives or something. You have to like use a bunch of them. Aw, oh, look at those. Look at those fireworks. Four lives, all heart upgrades, all sub tanks, all weapons. I'm gonna put this on my. I'm gonna put this right here on my phone, and I'm gonna. Uh, <laughs> and I'm going to remind myself once I get everything <laughs> to look at that again. Ah oh, man, thanks for sharing and thanks for liking. Really appreciate when you do that. It really, really helps out a lot. All right, let's let's uh, switch. Yeah, at the end. Yeah. Yep, and then, then at like the caps, then the capsule like appears at the top or something like that. <laughs> yeah, Princess must be like seven feet tall. She's bigger than even Super Mario. Yeah, I wonder like if Princess Peach had a um had a mushroom, like a super mushroom, like how much bigger would she grow? Right? Like if if Mario is at normal that height.